Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to talk about how you can easily upgrade the look and feel of your gym and barbells. Cheap and easy. Doesn't get much better than that. Now, you might recall a week or so ago I posted a picture of me swapping out my Boneyard end caps for Ohio deadlift bar end caps. So a little bit of a fakery on my part and I'm sure I posted a sweet montage before this video started showing that. And who doesn't like a good old montage? But this is a cheap, easy way to upgrade the look of your bars. And truth be told, this wasn't my initial intent. I'm not trying to pass this bar off for something it's not. I actually had someone reach out to me and say, hey, I did this, would you like the extras that I have? And I said I would because I wanted to give it a shot to see how it turned out because I've looked into making my own end caps before, but usually they were in the form of laser, etching, stamping. I didn't really look into decals too much and this was a decal and I figured I'd give it a shot. And it turned out really well in my opinion. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and do this myself. And I know a lot of people out there, whether you have a home gym, commercial gym, private gym, POG collection, you have stuff that you wanna put these stickers on to make it your own, whether that be your logo, a team you like, a saying you like, or if you're sneaky and you wanna go on the internet and find the actual end cap of a bar and pass off your Boneyard ones, well, more power to you, who am I to say that? Some people might say that's dishonest because they're just gonna to try to turn around and sell that for more than they paid for it. Spoiler alert, everyone's doing that with COVID anyways, regardless of if it's the real end cap or not. The secondhand market is super inflated, so people are selling stuff for more than they paid for it anyway. So it's kind of null and void at that point. Uh, but again, the process couldn't really be easier. Now I'm gonna assume you have removable end caps. I'm also gonna assume you have a snap ring design. That tends to be the most prevalent design out there and it's the easiest to work with. All I did was I went to avery.com, which is the site the person recommended to me. There might be better ones. You can leave that in the comment section below. If so, you can select from pre-cut stickers and sizes and shapes. So I selected a pre-cut circle at a custom shape of 1.6 inches in diameter. I find that that covers the end cap extremely well. And even if you have some slight overhang or you don't put the sticker on exactly in the center, when you have a snap ring, it's going to cover all the edges anyways, and it's gonna make it look all nice and clean. As long as the main image is in that circle, you're gonna be pretty good. Uh, now for this, what I will say is there is a minimum order. So there's usually a minimum order of at least five, and from what I can tell, there are multiples of five to 10 past that point. So if you're trying to be sneaky and you're going online to order an end cap that emulates another bar and you have a different bar, chances are you're gonna have leftover stickers and chances are you might reach out to a YouTuber to send them to them. So I would suggest doing something generic like a logo of your gym or team or whatever it is you wanna do on there uh, just cause it makes it easier and you get more use out of those stickers. Now, even though I selected five for my instance, the bare minimum, they actually sent me 12 stickers. I don't know if it was just an error or what it was, but I got 12 stickers. I also used a Honey extension on my Chrome browser to find whatever discount codes would work, which usually works out pretty sweet and it discounted the price of those 12 down to $10 that included shipping and tax. So for $10 or like $9.99, I ended up getting 12 of these stickers sent to me. And I think they work and they look pretty cool. And again, it's a cheap and easy way to upgrade your gym. And the nice thing is, is the process to actually install them again, super simple. Uh, to take a snap ring out, if you have a pair of snap ring pliers, it takes a second or two. If you don't have a pair, I'll link the pair that I have that I got off of Amazon, which were like 10 to 15 bucks, I think, in the description box below. You can use a pair of needle nose pliers as well. I've used those in the past, but those are more of a pain in the butt and more of a liability because I've definitely shot some snap rings across the room and almost lost them, which would have sucked because I don't know where you can buy the specific ones for barbells that easily, which was what drove me to buy some snap ring pliers. But once you take those out, you just take the end cap off, flip it around, it's blank on the back, I'd like to just kind of just wipe them down in case they have grease or oil or something on them so the sticker adheres a little bit better. Put the sticker on, even if it's not dead center, put the end cap back in, put the snap ring back in, and you're good to go. The whole process to switch them out maybe takes a minute or two at tops, and you're good to go with your own customized end caps. And the nice thing is, is even if you don't like them in the long run and want to switch them out, you just take the snap ring off, flip them back around or peel the sticker off and you're good to go with the original end cap. So it's cheap, it's easy, and it really lets you customize and make your gym and barbells your own. And hopefully this video helps you. If you have any questions about the process or any tips or suggestions based off what you've done, leave that in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.